Hey, and welcome to episode something or other of the Penguin Soup Podcast. My name is Ginny, also known as Penguin Soup. I have no idea what episode number it is. Today's a Monday. Technically Tuesday, because it's 1.30. Monday? Oh, I got it right here. Monday the, um, um, wow, I'm bad at the dates. Always, always, always. Monday, April 4th. Happy April. I need a drink. Um, today's show... Brought to you by Batman. Ah! Insert some cheesy, like, tune there. Okay, let's get to it. Um, I got a hoe. I shall show you my hoe in my bag. So last time, see, I added markers and stuff because, you know, I wanted to be prepared. I was here at Little Mickey. I finished the rest of the sock. Um, it is, and somebody, oh man, I should have my phone here. Uh, somebody asked, it is Monkeys, because apparently I forgot to mention last time, Monkeys by Cookie A. It is a free pattern on Knitty, or it is in her Knit Sock Love book with an extra, um, extra size added. And I'm moving my marker to where I am here, so you can see how much I did next week. And yeah, so I finished the sock and then I finished like almost the sixth repeat to where I need to do the heel flap, which I hate doing, and the turn and then the rest of the foot. So I got pretty far. I'm really, really liking this. It is on Saltwater Taffy by Penguin Zoop in my Emperor base. It's nice and stretchy and it's knitting up a lot more green than I thought it would. But I like it and I love knitting and it's like, oh, pop a blue, pop a purple. It looks some yellow. It's really, really, no, oh, oh wait. Hold on. Um. Oh, I'm so ill prepared. I have feet. Okay, don't mind the crinkles. Hold on. We're gonna get some feet here. Dun, 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 feet. Oh, come on. Okay. One foot. Crinkly bag. Oh, and I even wove in the end on the toe. Not up here, because, you know. I wasn't that into it, but okay. Let's put it on the foot. Oh yeah. Okay. Look at that foot. Oh, I think you gotta see it this way. I like it. It looks nice. The pattern is gorgeous. The yarn is pretty. It's a good looking foot. I'll just leave that on there for now, because why not? Um, yeah. So, uh, that's my foe. Or my hoe. My hoe. I don't have a hoe. I mean, a foe. Hold on. That's my half finished object. I haven't finished finished anything. Um, the only other thing I've been knitting on this week is... In my new bag, I'll talk about a little bit more later. Um, my Chasing Rainbows, so it's officially April, so if you want to knit along with me, the cal has begun. You could have started early, I wouldn't care. Um, so last time I showed you this, I was on the second repeat. Um, I ripped it all out, and now I am just starting the third repeat. It got bigger, and it looks a lot nicer now that it's all the same um, needle size. Gauge, same gauge. Yes, that is the word. So, I'll show you it all spread out. Oh, hold on, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, so the pattern's coming along really nicely. I'm liking it. And... Yeah. I don't really have much to say about it. Um, I'm not super, like, enthralled to me knitting it. It's not, like, gripping me. So, but it's okay. Um, and the pattern is Chasing Rainbows by Boonets. The yarn, which I'm really liking, all these pops of color, it keeps me going, is um, April Showers on my Adelaide Lace Base, so my Baby Alpaca Silk and Cashmere. It is so soft and nice to work with that I don't mind. The not super entertaining pattern. Um, that's it, I'm pretty monogamous, but actually like pretty well knitting like a decent amount. Which is new for me. Um, what am I going to do next? So I think 
I'm gonna actually knit through this octopus book by Alice Yu. Um, and I'm gonna probably throw some kind of knit along going on in there. I know a lot of people have knit through this book before. Um, but I think the first one I'm gonna do... Okay, so the reason that I picked up this book and decided to knit it all is I've got a skein of a stash addict. She's no longer dying. Uh, it was gifted to me by Katie. And uh, it's Spyro Dragon's Wings, or Dragon's Wing. It's on her fantasy sparkle base. 75% um, Superwash Merino, 20% Merino, Silk, and 5% Stellina. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't... No, it's going to be socks. Um, it's really, really nice. It doesn't really feel like silk to me. It kind of just feels like nylon, like my regular base, but maybe there's silk. I don't know. It could be crazy. Anyway, so I saw this pair knit a while back in uh, Alice Yu's Kandahar pattern, which I'm trying to find. I think it's like the first one in the book. Hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Uh, bam! Kandahar. And it looks like Dersh. They're nice. Um, the pattern in that yarn looks way better. But I was flipping through the book because I was like, yeah, I should totally do that. I want to do the same thing. Um, I found the Vorticity. V-O-R-T-I-C-I-T-Y. Vorticity, I think. Um, and it's all like swirly and wavy. And I figured that would look a little nicer with like her fantasy beautiful purpley pinks and yellow. Um, so yeah, and it comes with like this cute little star stitch marker that I've left on here. So I can finally be able to take that off. I think it's actually starting to tarnish a little bit. It's been on there so long. I've had this. Oh no, maybe it's the ring supposed to be colored. I can't tell. But, um, yeah, I've had this for three, four-ish years now. It's about time I get knitting it. And it's about time I knit through that book. I've got a lot of pattern books that I should probably just knit through. Um, yeah, uh, cool stuff or slash milk all. Mostly milk all. Um, so I finally got my Jillio. It is a, I think it's called light blue or, or aqua or something. Um, Croco medium, Mia Care, no, medium Campania. Um, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've shown you this. I put posted pictures. So it's got the full paper size back pocket, which is what I love. It's got this pocket here, secretarial pocket, I think is what it's called, that I'm going to put all my receipts in. It's got like my business cards and stuff and like some stickers for later. I've got like blog ideas and like dyeing stuff in there. Um, my, I love my inserts from Personalizer who no longer does them. The back also has a secretarial pocket thingy here and it's called a zipper with a leather zipper pull. It's really really nice. The lady who sent it sent along some same colored shoe polish or something. Um, so yeah, it's super soft and I love it. And it's gonna keep me organized, especially when I go to my craft shows and stuff. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I've got like a whole bunch of stuff written down in them with my pages. Itchy nose. Okay, um, I actually have to open that back up because my show notes are in the book. There we go. Uh, also in the mail, I finally got my knitting needles. Oh yeah, super excited. So. Uh, let me kind of get this organized, because... No! Oh, no, I brought them. We're good. We're good. I was prepared. Don't worry. Um, okay, so they came in the red Haya Haya case. They no longer live in here, because it was, like, super compacted, and I hated how it looked. So I moved my Knit Picks. Um, these ones. Oh, crap. Ah. These ones? The Harmony? No. Maybe? Maybe the rainbow colored needles into this one because I think I've broken the set and lost some of them or whatever. I'm not a big fan. I don't use them super often. They're okay. Um, I don't really like wood. Um, so they're just living in here nicely with like little size taggy things to put on there and um, their cables in the back and everything. So, and I don't really like the color red. I don't really use my Netflix needles, so they're going to live in here. Um, originally, I took the small ones out and added them to the other small sizes. Um, so I had the 4 inch and the 5 inch. Um, and then I had the big ones in here and that was just weird. So I moved them into my Deli Q case. 
Um, so they're the limited edition interchangeable, cha interchangeable set. It comes with a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm going to go through what it comes with. So it comes with 13 sets of 5 inch sharp interchangeable tips. Um, the case. Four cables. Um, small cable connectors because they come in small and large size cables. Because as you can see, um, the small size and then the large size. It's like massive. Um, so you need a um, tip adapter so it can use the smaller cables because they shipped it with the small cables instead of the large cables. Um, and it came with like cable connectors too so if I want an extra long cable, if I'm going to do like a massive blanket, I can connect my cables together which is really cool. So I put them in my Deli-Q case and they're all labeled and purdy. Um, in here I got like the little grippy things to tighten them. Um, they're cool, and I like them, um, because I really like the high Hyatt Sharps that I had, and I decided I'm just going to get the whole freaking set, because I'm tired of not having sets that I need, and I needed more cables, and I needed doubles of certain sizes, and I really didn't like knitting um, my Ginny cardigan on the little 4 inch needle tips, I wanted like a big 5 inch tip, because the little ones like push here, it's fine for like lace and like other pa projects, but I didn't like it for a sweater. Um, comes with panda stoppers, so these are the big ones, so they're pandas knitting a little blue sock, and then the small ones are pandas knitting a little yellow, uh, red sock, they're super cute, but what they do is that they go on the end of this tube, and then you take your thick needle, um, there's this thin set too, they're called single point adapters, and you put your panda on the end, so then you've got a single point which is really, really cool, even though I never knit single point, um, I might be kind of interested to try it. Uh, it came with puppy snips, because you can never have enough, and it got purple ones, Ew. Uh It came with darnets, um, just darning needles, three different um, colors of the same ones, and knitter safety pins, these little horseshoe shaped pin things. Um, yeah. And I put them in my Deli Q case. Um, so I'm really happy with them. I've already got, I switched the tips on my sweater. Um, on the shawl, you can see I've got the long cable. I don't know where my other long cable, I think it's on another shawl actually. Um, so everything's kind of good. I've got enough of everything for right now. Um, I also got from Fancy Boy Bags on Etsy. Um, he had a sale, like this has been in my cart for a little while, and then he had a sale, and then I had to buy it, and I love it. It's really well made, so it's just a wedge bag. Um, it's got this nice red fabric here, Walking Dead, which is awesome. Super well lined. Comes with the cutest zombie zipper pull, which completely makes it, if it hadn't already been made from the awesome fabric and the awesome, like, nice, thick interfacing that I like. Red fabric on the inside sits straight, comes with a little loop thing to put your needles, uh, your like scissors or your stitch markers, and the lanyard comes off if you don't want to have it on there. And it's like a super awesome, like look at the quality of that clip for that lanyard. It's awesome. Um, I don't normally have lanyards on my bag, so I might end up taking this off and using it for like my keys or something, but um, gotta say, Soon as I received it, like five minutes after I got it, um, I like opened it on the way home because the mail's like a block away. I opened it up, loved it. Um, he also sent, oh, I don't have them. Oh, maybe I do have them. So with the bag, he also sent a long, yeah, uh, a set of one, two, three, four, five little stitch markers that are these little red balls that are the same ones on the zombie. And this zombie's adorable. Um, so yeah, like five minutes after I walked in the door, ordered the Pokemon bag because I need that Pokemon bag in my life. And I ordered another one of these for my mom for Mother's Day because she kind of started knitting slash crocheting and she's totally into The Walking Dead and I think she'll love it. Um, she loved this one so I was like, oh, need it. Um, yeah, super, super awesome bag. I am happy. And I needed bags that fit my shawls. And if you look in here, 
have plenty of room with plenty of room to grow. I'm freaking pleased. So thank you, thank you, thank you for making awesome bags. Fancy boy designs on Etsy. Um, covered my show notes. Ravelry! So I talked about the cow for the Chasing Rainbows, which is going from April 1st to April 31st? 30th? 31st, I think. Um, after that we're going to have an Arnaria tank top knit along. Um, and then, I think after that, we're going to just do like a Soctopus knit along. I might start that earlier. Um, and there will be prizes for some of these knit alongs I'm doing. I uh, basically totally want people to um, come hang out in the Ravelry group and get to know me a little bit better and so I can get to know you and we can have conversations. Ask me anything. In the thread we had somebody ask um, what the sock pattern I was knitting last week was. Um, it was... Uh, I'm horrible with names. I don't know if she wants me to give her real name. So I will wait and I will give her Instagram name. Let me grab that. Um, Efric. I'm not, I'm not going to give real names. Um, she asked what the pattern was. It's Monkeys by Cookie A. And it looks like this. Um, sorry if I didn't mention that last week. Got a brain podcaster. I told you it was going to get weird. Uh, and then we had... Oh, I'm horrible at this. Doop -doop -doo. MP Lanka asked, Hey, I've just purchased an empty A6 personal size planner. What is the best website for inserts? Um, hands down, go to Etsy. Um, Homemade Craft actually carries A6 inserts. Homemade Craft is the wonderful lady that I purchased these monthlies on with the nice colors on the side. Um, she also sent the awesome, I also ordered the three-year planner. Really, really nice paper quality. She does make A6s. I think there's even some printable options there. Um, and I also just ordered some finance papers from her. I'm a big fan. Um, Pembroke Papers on Etsy also has them. Um, I'm not sure if they have them for sure, for sure, but I really, really like Pia Rick. You can find her on Facebook. It's P-I-A-R-I-C. And just do a Facebook search for her. She has a Facebook shop, which I think is kind of weird, but it's easy to order from. And her inserts are like top quality. They're awesome. Um, those are the top three that I would recommend, but for sure take a look on Etsy and just type in A6 planner inserts. And let me know how you like your A6 because I want one so bad. I haven't used that um, format yet, but I'm waiting, waiting, and hoping that Jillio, because um, that's all I'm buying right now, will come out with an A6 in the Yale blue color, which is a really, really nice teal, and I want that planner. I want a planner in teal, but I won't buy another planner of the same size of a planner I already have. I don't have an A6, so I can kind of justify a Yale blue A6 in uh, A6. Totally need it. <clears throat> Jillio, please do it. Um, oh, I'm not even on the right page. There we go. So, shop stuff. My next update is going to be, um, not next week, but the week after. That probably doesn't help you much. April! April 15th. I really need glasses. Uh, so April 15th at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, then I'm going to do another one on the 29th because I kind of missed the one on the first. I'm just going to write it down so I don't forget. Um, and then I'm going to have one on the 6th of May and the 20th of May. Yeah! So those are my updates, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have a podcast this week because I don't have next week's schedule because work keeps switching them around on Monday, like this Monday, or this week I was supposed to work like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday or something, and then they switched it now work Friday, Saturday. And I get told this on like Monday when I call in sick because I had food poisoning. So it's not like they're giving me a heads up ahead of time, which really, really bothers me. Because it makes it hard to do podcast, uh, like schedule podcasts and do VKNs with you guys. So VKNs are up in the air right now. Um, also on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, I am posting a um, makeup tutorial. Not really a tutorial. A getting ready with Jenny, basically. 
Um, it's kind of hilarious, um, very much like my weird, weird podcasts where I'm kind of singing and talking to myself. Um, I guess technically I'm talking to myself now. Anyway, um, totally watch it if you want a really good laugh because guaranteed that's what you're going to get. Uh, also, since I'm horrible at this stuff, you should like and subscribe. Sorry, not going to be one of those people. But <laughs> if you want to make sure that you don't miss a podcast, please subscribe and like this video on YouTube. And this sounds like every other YouTube video. But there's a uh, techno artist called Penguin Soup who has good stuff, but um, they have more activity on their videos and my videos just aren't showing up at all. So I'm going through and renaming everything to have Penguin Soup in the title, um, which I really, really hope helps. But uh, if you like and subscribe, it'll be easier for you to find the videos and it'll be easier for others to find the videos too, which would be awesome. Um, I think that's all I have. I haven't really dyed anything yet. I'm going to die tomorrow and the day after. So there's not really any yarn porn, but there should be yarn porn for you for next week. So um, I'm sorry, I'll show you this again. It's not mine, but ooh. Um, I think that's all I've got. I hope you guys have a good week and happy crafting. Bye!